The giant house spider, or Atacina atrica, is one of the largest and most recognizable spiders commonly found in European homes in parts of North America. With leg spans that can reach up to 12 centimeters, around 4.7 inches, the size alone often inspires fear and fascination. Despite their intimidating appearance, their temperament is far less threatening than many people assume. Understanding the behavior and personality of this species is essential for overcoming misconceptions and appreciating their role in the ecosystem. Before diving into temperament, it is worth noting why giant house spiders cause such a strong reaction. Their long legs, fast movements, and tendency to appear suddenly in homes during autumn contribute to the fear many people feel. However, their size does not equate to aggression. While they may look menacing, their personality is generally reserved and non-confrontational. The defining trait of the giant house spider's temperament is shyness. These spiders are not aggressive toward humans and prefer to remain hidden in dark, quiet corners. They are most active at night when they hunt for insects such as flies, moths, and even other spiders. When disturbed, they usually attempt to flee rather than stand their ground. Giant house spiders are also highly avoidant of human contact. Even though they might wander into living spaces, it is rarely intentional. During autumn, males often leave their webs to search for females, which is why they are seen more frequently indoors. Their presence in homes should not be mistaken for hostility. It is simply part of their reproductive behavior. One of the most interesting aspects of their temperament is how they respond to stress. If threatened, a giant house spider will almost always choose flight over fight. Their remarkable speed, sometimes reaching nearly two feet per second, helps them escape perceived danger quickly. Unlike some spiders that adopt defensive postures or bite readily, giant house spiders rely on speed and retreat as their main defense mechanisms. Biting is exceptionally rare. While they possess fangs and venom, they typically only bite if cornered or accidentally pressed against the skin. Even then, their bite is considered harmless to humans, comparable to a mild bee sting in sensation and far less medically significant. Interestingly, when kept in captivity by arachnid enthusiasts, giant house spiders reveal an even more subdued temperament. They can be observed calmly building funnel-shaped webs and waiting patiently for prey. They rarely show aggression toward their caretakers and adapt well to enclosed environments as long as they are not frequently disturbed. This passive demeanor in captivity reinforces the notion that giant house spiders are gentle giants of the arachnid world. They're opportunistic predators, not aggressive hunters, and they rely heavily on stealth and patience rather than confrontation. Giant house spiders are solitary by nature. Their temperament does not include social tolerance toward others of their kind outside of mating. Males and females only interact briefly during reproduction, after which they go their separate ways. Cannibalism can occur if one spider invades another's web, which highlights their preference for solitude. The giant house spider's temperament has long been misunderstood due to myths and exaggerated stories. Their speed is often mistaken for an attack, when in reality they are desperately trying to escape. Similarly, their sudden appearance in bathtubs or sinks is not because they are waiting for humans, but because they accidentally fall in and cannot climb out. In truth, the temperament leans heavily toward timidity, avoidance, and non-aggression. Recognizing this can help reduce the fear associated with them and promote a healthier coexistence with these fascinating creatures. The temperament of the giant house spider has ecological advantages. Their shy and non-confrontational behavior allows them to thrive in homes without causing disruption. They help control populations of insects and pests, acting as natural pest managers. Their presence is a quiet and beneficial one, largely unnoticed unless they wander into open spaces. Their lack of aggression also makes them more tolerable than other pest-controlling animals, such as wasps or rodents. Unlike these, giant house spiders perform their ecological role with minimal interference in human activities. The temperament of the giant house spider is best described as shy, avoidant, and non-aggressive. Despite their daunting size and speed, they are not dangerous to humans and prefer to remain hidden and undisturbed. They respond to threats with flight, not fight, and bites are exceedingly rare. In captivity, they display calm and passive behavior, further disproving the myth of aggression. Far from being villains in our homes, giant house spiders are quiet, beneficial inhabitants. Their temperament ensures that they coexist with humans without conflict, while simultaneously helping to maintain balance by keeping insect populations in check. Understanding their true nature can turn fear into respect and perhaps even admiration for these misunderstood giants of the arachnid world.